Welcome Virgo, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. We'll be using the Lover's Oracle, so could be a love reading, might not be, might be to do with any other relationship in your life, um, family, friendship, what else, <laughs> any other relationship. Okay, so let's have a look, three cards for Virgo please, three cards. One, two more, two more, two, here it is, okay, Virgo, what have we got here, this first card here, the past is now behind you, release it and embrace new possibilities, a new path is now available to you, follow it with faith. Okay, and we have this card here as well, which says, be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. This card here. Interesting, none of them have got titles. Okay, I just have to say they'll find that quite interesting. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Very nice, Virgo, very nice. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so we're starting with this one here. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay. First card. It's upside down. I don't know what it is yet. One more card. For that card, for Virgo, please, about the past being behind you. There it is. There it is. Okay. Money. Find a way to abundance. Okay, interesting. New possibilities, right? New possibilities opening up. It's real interesting because this trumpet here, I think that's what it is is facing to the past and the owl is in a really weird position here and why it's like yeah this is real interesting i suppose to me what that's saying is being wise enough to know what to leave in the past What, you know, especially with this, it might be a trombone, I don't know, but anyway, that doesn't really matter, it's beside the point. Um, it's really about this new melody of your life that you want to create, right? My hair's all crazy today. Um, what is that? Really considering what that is. Um, what path do you want to follow, right? We've got a card that's flown across the room. Let me go and pick it up. Okay, so we have this. This is, we've got idleness and amber. And as soon as I saw the amber card, it kind of reminded me of, a, of an amber alert. Um, but also with the dragonfly here, this is like new beginnings spiritually as well. But new beginnings full stop I feel for you and so sometimes as those as we shift from um, the old to you know whatever the new beginning is um, there's sort of like this bridge in between right from one place to another and what may appear to be idleness is actually simply you crossing the bridge into this new reality of your life Okay, um, we have it seven, seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. I love this. Heavenly virtues. 
And I just wonder, for you Virgo, if there's been things that have happened in the past that you haven't been entirely proud of, or um, that have caused you some pain, okay, and now it's actually heading towards these heavenly virtues, you know, you've got the seven, what is it, the seven sins or something, can't remember the wording, um, and it's kind of like whatever has gone on in the past, leave it, leave it there, okay, and head towards the future now, head towards the future. Mm. Yeah, see, that. look at this, this is gorgeous because the crow has gathered up these gems here and put them in the nest, right? Um, I feel like it's time for you to go through what it is that you've gathered up, you know, be it um, what's in your toolbox or the experience that's a, that you've had in your life um, and what you've learned from them keeping what it is that you can still utilize for the future but leaving behind what is no longer necessary for you to take into the future okay so really sieving through for yourself what serves you and what does not because this leg of the journey you can only take a minimal amount with you okay some of you have collated quite a lot of and this could even be about clearing out your home um I'm just being like, I'm, I'm hearing, clearing the baggage, whatever that be, whether it's materialistic or emotional, mental, you know, whatever, clearing it out, okay? Um, yeah, because what's the, with the flow here, there's the waterfall, right? And um, as you... Go down the river, there's this waterfall, there's this drop, okay? So you want that drop to be as light as possible so that you can pop up and continue on. And I just wonder if this is the idleness. You know, when I was talking about the um, bridge before, uh, in between two realities, that it's almost like this is it here. This, um, this river, river path, river path <laughs> leading to this waterfall here has been that leg of the journey, okay? And this is a new leg of the journey, yeah? Um, so, yeah, lightening that load so that when you drop, um, and that doesn't mean that it's going to be anything too tragic for you, but it just means that you're lightening the load so that you can pop up and carry on. You're not going to have to spend time trying to get to the surface because you've got all this stuff weighing you down here okay so that's really important for you to do, be doing right now if you haven't already okay so next card here be aware of oh sorry that the first word and no, i didn't even get it right be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection okay you can pick this up okay so we have angel of miracles Open your heart and expect a miracle. Beautiful. That is so nice. Right? Open your heart and expect a miracle. And really, also, I feel like this is about you being honest with yourself, especially the qualities that you don't like in other people. Being honest with yourself and seeing how um, you possess those qualities. Okay? Just ask to be shown. But be ready, be ready to receive that because, you know, it's not always glamorous and sometimes it can be a little bit daunting. It was like, oh God, do I really want to admit to that or do I really want to, you know, have to own that? Yeah, we do, you know, because that's part of the growth, right? It's part of the growth. 
Okay, so bloom. Bloom. I love that. This person here is 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 taking the time to be still. Um potentially smell the flowers but the stillness is allowing the energy to settle to a point where even the bird lands on them right see the bird here the bird is there and this vine is growing over them and I feel like this is about you actually coming from you know maybe you have crossed the bridge Maybe you're in a state of getting ready to enter this new this new reality of yours if you haven't already. And it's time for you to allow yourself to bloom, right? And what does that require when we bloom? It requires us to open up for a start, right? Open up. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Right, and part of that opening up, it takes time, layer by layer. We need certain nutrients, we need to have a certain environment in order to open up. You know, it needs to be a safe environment, it needs to be an environment an environment that we can trust, that there are people around us that we can trust. It needs to be an environment where we can safely let the scent. Um, emanate from our flower and know that there will be people around who will appreciate that you know and trusting calling on these angel this angel of miracles to help us to allow ourselves to open up in every aspect so we can truly fully bloom into into our authentic selves nest wow this is cool with the bird here and you know this is reminding me of this idleness here that it takes time things take time right we have to sit and wait have to wait for things to hatch wait for things to bloom you know there's seasons where the blooming happens and there's seasons where you know and then all these um, petals drop off and it dies away doesn't mean to say that you, that's going to happen to you physically. It's more so, you know, allowing the, the cycles of change to happen in our lives. That understanding that that's a natural process that we go through. Yeah. We have legends. Learn from those who inspire you. Learn from those who inspire you. Some of you, I have a feeling, feel like there are not many people around who actually set your soul on fire. And there's this stream, there's this river here this person in the river right but they're stagnant at the moment they're stagnant and it's kind of like waiting for external forces to come and help you along but the fact of the matter is that it's actually about yourself taking what it is that works for you and leaving the rest behind picking out what your go-to things are right what's going to work for you and leaving the rest behind. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we have the light here and we have slumber. I love this. This is. I feel like for you, Virgo, this is about you um, enveloping the light, about you actually taking the time to allow yourself to be wrapped up in 
what it is that inspires you, right? Because that makes you glow. That makes you beam. You know, those sorts of things. If you're wondering, oh, what is it that, you know, inspires me? It's those things that set your heart on fire, you know, that gets you going, that gets you up in the morning, that gives you energy, right? That motivates you. It's those sorts of things. So these are the, these are, um, this is what you need to be focusing on in order to help you propel, for, propel forward in your life, okay? Next we have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. This is it, you know, and it really is having faith and believing in that because I don't feel like some of you really believe that that's that can happen you know um and the fact of the matter is that for those of you who do it can be um sort of difficult to choose what it is you know what it is what is it that that sets my soul on fire because there's so many things and I suppose it's going through each one and working out okay if I wasn't to take this with me how would it feel and do that with every single thing that you could take forward with you and work out what's the thing that you could absolutely 100% not live without okay so yeah let's have a look here okay so this first card out here is seven deadly sins see this is what I was talking about before right um this is about letting these things go seven deadly sins humanity's destructive traits so being very aware of this okay and um giving thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires and this is it the things that um don't allow that to come into your life that stop you from opening up that stop you from blooming into the true being that you really are that stops you from hatching into this new um this new path of your life okay letting those things go leaving those behind okay as appealing as they may seem knowing that they're not serving you and i have a feeling that you know deep down inside what those are okay so let's have a look further into this tell me more about seven dead lessons for virgo please <clears throat> Tell me more about this, Bavirgo. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah. Look at this. Reach. <sighs> See, this here, this is about you reaching for the light, okay? Reaching for the light here. Here. Um, because here in this rainbow, okay, there's all this darkness here. And it's up to you whether you choose to be um, to be encompassed by that darkness or whether you allow the rainbow to shine down upon you. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is you. You are the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Okay, so, you know, this is something that you, I'm just writing that down because that's a really good like, um, heading, um, you know, this is about you reaching for what it is that seems unreachable, you know, but it actually is there for the taking for you. So the next card here is Peacock, raise your standards, yeah, 100%, raise your standards, don't settle here Virgo, because um, sometimes it's easy to kind of go, Oh, well, okay, well, I'll just take this then because that's what's there, right? Raise your standards and expect more, you know? I want to say expect more, but when you're expecting more, make sure that those expectations are applied to yourself first and foremost. Okay. We've got glimpse and fog. Yeah, see, you can see the light just out of the fog here. Like the fog is starting to clear. 
here and the light is coming through. I adore this for you. Okay, we also had Crescent pop up here and this is the new moon. Okay, this is the beginning of a whole new chapter and uh, this is what you've got to look forward to, right? This is the light. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. This is the light out of the darkness that you've been waiting for, yeah? You've got the new moon and the light is shining through the fog that has kept everything hazy in your life. So I absolutely love this for you because, you know, um, it's about time, right? It's about time that this all starts to happen for you and, and it is totally happening for you. So, um, yeah, embrace it enjoy the moment you know um be with it try not to be impatient okay let it let everything unfold as it's meant to but enjoy it and look at what it is that you need to do for yourself so that what you um are finding in other people particularly those irritations uh, that you're looking at yourself to see where it is that you can improve in that area of your life Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.